today's video. And I will do my best to explain this in the best way that I can using all the tools that I can. The focus is around having mental resilience when you invest. And from the start of 2022, we've seen a consistent downward trend in the crypto market with some leaks happening recently. Uh, this period has really shaken investor confidence. Put extremely simply, what we're seeing in the market is mainly a correlation to other markets led by lowering printing from the Fed. Crypto is one of the most volatile asset classes in the world currently, simply because of how novel it is. High volatility means a huge price increase, but it's a double-edged sword. High volatility also brings sharp market corrections. Volatility refers to how quickly and how much an asset price can change. Since its creation in 2008, Bitcoin and the crypto market have seen many ups and downs. And while recovery has followed every single dip, periods of decline can be extremely emotionally challenging. So what have you got to do? So one of the things that I would recommend is having a longer term vision for whatever you're doing. By developing a five to 10 year vision, we can see the bigger picture and you can look past day to day fluctuations and short time horizons, which is usually what gets everyone down because you're looking at your phone and it's going down, 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 down one day and then up, 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 up the next day, you know, fluctuations of about 40%. You struggle to comprehend that you're losing all of this Money. But if you look at the wider picture of, take for instance, like looking back on the S&P 500 over the last 50 years, well, it's pretty much gone up consistently 7% every year. This helps us think rational in difficult times. One of the most important things by, by any means, in my opinion, is managing your expectations. And no matter how much experience you have, going through drawdowns is never, ever, ever enjoyable, unless you're shorting it. But that's a conversation for another period. However, managing your expectations regarding market volatility is key, key to building the mental resilience you need to weather storms. This next point is, is more to do with the psychology, your own psychology for that matter. Understanding how emotions affect decision-making. The human mind is one of the most complex entities in the universe that we currently know all. And learning more about psychology can help us understand the emotional responses that influence our decisions. As investors, we feel a wide range of emotions, watching assets appreciate or depreciate over time. Understanding the psychology of investing can help us avoid letting our emotions take control of decision making. It's important to learn to be skeptical and critical, not fearful. Skeptical and critical, not fearful. Skepticism keeps us rational, prevents us from making poor decisions. But if fear and stress take over, we aren't really making decisions at all. We're merely succumbing to emotion and and that is usually where we end up in the downfall of everything. If we're overly fearful, we're not in a position to make rational decisions. And with investing, it's all about being rational. Often after experiencing a loss, an investor who lacks experience will panic and sell all their assets in response to further avoid losses or overinvest to try and make that money back. When you see the value of your crypto investments fall, it's natural to want to cut your losses and, fall, and, and sell, sorry. But that doesn't mean that's the right thing to do in that moment in time. Most of all, you've got to have conviction. Having conviction in your investments expecting and accepting that there will be volatility in the crypto market in both directions is essential to weather the storms and come out on top. No one likes seeing drawdowns, but in the crypto market, it's part of the game. It really is. It's, it's like investing in general it is part of the game. Although in stocks and shares, in investment banks, they're trading on, you know, or, or bonds, they're trading on like small margins with massive numbers. In crypto, you can trade on massive, massive amount of volume um, and the market, oh wait, the volume the margin might be smaller. You, you get what I'm saying. In crypto, <laughs> the margins can be exceptionally bigger um, with smaller numbers. The only way to build conviction is through research and understanding. Without an adequate understanding of the asset you're investing in, the technology, the uh, the indicators, things like that, it's impossible to achieve a long-term success in the crypto space. And I think those four things are really the core of investing in crypto assets, um, NFTs, things like that. You've got to understand that it's going to be fluctuations. You've got to understand that you cannot let your emotions ride on this, but you do have to have a understanding of what the space is. And if you don't understand that, you are going in blind, as I have done many a time and I have learned many a time. But you slowly grow to love these things and you slowly go to love this environment. And you know what, if that isn't for you, I would recommend getting a financial advisor if you can afford one or um, trying to spend some time understanding these things. But I also think to link this back to, you know, the ongoing political situation and the war that's happening, this applies to that and having mental resilience in that as well. Because I, I can't say what, what what war is like. I've never been in a war. Um, but what I can say is that there it takes a certain level of individual to have the mental resilience to go and stand on the front line and have some sort of weapon in their hands that can inflict damage on others uh, because they need to protect their homeland. So my heart is with all the people in Ukraine and all the people in in um, in all the in all the places in the world that are currently in some sort of conflict and I'm going to do my best to raise awareness. I'm going to do my best to um, educate people in the ways that I can educate people and also continue to hopefully, you know, provide you some education in the things that I find interesting and my life as well. Um, although in this bigger picture of things, it doesn't really seem 
seem like a like a small ant in the bigger world, but just just me at the moment. Have a great evening. I'll speak to you soon. Bye.